What's going on, guys? It is September 19th, 2018, which means it's time for my pull list. We have 8 DC, 4 Marvel. Two of them are from last week, though, that I didn't weren't able to get. And you will notice that I wasn't able to get Justice League number 8. Seems that uh, comic book speculators are buying them up. I don't know why. I don't care enough to find out why. I'll just pick it up later. It's Scott Snyder. Who cares? Justice League's not that great. Where I'm like, remember when I couldn't find Avengers 7 and I was really angry about it? I can't find Justice League 8. It's not that serious. I don't care. Anyway. So let's go. We have uh, Green Lantern's number 55. Jurgen's on the track. I've been really enjoying the storyline. It's just really... It's, Green Lantern's is just really good. Green Lantern's is... I feel like it's in like a league of its own. Like You have to separate it from everything else. Where it's just it's just always good. It's just always fucking good. Same thing with Hal Jordan. Anything Green Lantern related, they seem to be very protective of it. Or they're just putting people on it. It's kind of the old standard of DC. DC's not going to really fuck with Green Lantern too much. You can kind of tell that. Anyway. We have Batman number 55. Tom King, very controversial. Uh, Tony Daniel back on the art. I'm very happy about that. I love Tony Daniel's art. But Batman's one of those books that you know that I say that Superman, I'm very close to dropping Superman after having fallen in love with Superman all over again in the past two years. Batman's one of those books that no matter how bad it gets, I'm going to still read it. I kind of liked Batman number 54. My only problem with it was that it was very, um, it felt very staggered and it was really, it was kind of melodramatic. It was really obvious what Tom King was trying to do and he kind of did it and kind of didn't. I don't know, whatever. Whatever, we'll see what 55 is. Yeah. Immortal Man number 6 is JT4, who I don't think is a very good writer. Now, he's a good writer, he just gets lost in the weeds a lot. Uh, Immortal Man has been great. Issues 1 through 5 have been really, really good. It's basically like uh, kind of X-Men. Um, the only thing about this is that I've been hearing that 6 was bad. So we shall see. I hope it's not, though. <laughs> Anyway, Sideways number 8. Sideways has been really good, too. It's one of my favorite New Age of Heroes books with Silencer and Terrifics. So, we will continue the course. We got, we got the jabronis. Uh, this is going to be an interesting uh, issue. New Challenge number 5. Another New Age of Heroes book. This one is just... This one's fine. I got to catch up. I got to read 4. But uh, 1 through 3 were fine. There's just... There's just a, such... With New Age of Heroes... They did a really good job with them, but there's such a glut of these team type books that it's just kind of like, like these are the first books you're going to drop, unfortunately. But I'm going, I'm staying the course, I'm going to go through all of them. Hopefully I can do like a New Age of Heroes roundup later on and talk about each one. But Damage number 9 is one of my, oh I love this, this is like unapologetically one of my favorites. And I know it's not for everybody, but I fucking love Damage so much. <laughs> damage is so fucking great. Um, Who was in it? Who, the Unknown Soldier was in the last one. And so we're going to continue with it. This is great. I love damage. Mr. Miracle number 11. I said in another video that I wasn't reading these. I think I stopped at 4. And so I have... And I said when 11 came out, I was going to read them and then like try to get hype for number 12. So now I'm going to go back. I'm going to read all of Mr. Miracle. I've heard it gets really fucking bad. <laughs> I heard that the first three are amazing, which I... Did think we're amazing, and then just the rest just suck. So we shall, we shall see. Captain America Annual. This is not written by our friend, quote unquote. I do. I love Captain America. Is just for Marvel. Is kind of like my Green Lantern. You know, I love Green Lantern. I'm, I'm always going to buy Green Lantern. I love Captain America. You know, like it pains me to not buy Captain America, although it sucks, and that's why I'm not buying it. Fuck it. I'm, I'm done with it. But I want to see what the how the annual is. We'll check this one out. Avengers number eight. Avengers is doing significantly better than uh, than Batman. It, uh, not Batman, sorry, than Justice League. Better story, better writing. Justin Aaron, it seems to get it. He seems to understand that a team book needs to have all the members of the team look cool. He does a really good job at it. Uh, even Captain Marvel is isn't that bad in this book. Like let's be honest. Venom first host. Still gotta read it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this is the end. Actually, isn't it? It's one through four. I think this is it. I gotta get through them. But it's Donnie... But, uh, not Donnie Kaysor. It's Mike Costa and Bagley. Bagley's Venom. Bagley's Venom is the best Venom of all the Venoms. He's the best artist to draw Venom. So how, how can this be bad? Watch me. I'm gonna come out and with a new video tomorrow. Be like, yo, Web of Venom, first host, fucking sucks. Blah, blah. No, I'm joking. Yeah. 
And then Venom number six. Donnie Cates has been killing it. He's been killing it. Web of Venom, Venom was bad. But this is so good. Oh, my God. I, I posted a, 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 a picture of a panel from this. And I was fucking get hype with this book, man. Venom's like one of those books you just get hype with. It's the same thing with uh, Batman White Knight. But actually, speaking of other stuff to get hype with, you know what else I got? Batman Damned. Azarello. Oh, man, I was about to get that Jim Lee cover, but this one looks... I don't know. I, I, I just ended up getting this one instead. The Jim Lee cover looked dank. It was basically him with, like, a fucking pentagram behind it. It was really fucking cool. Anyway, Batman Damned looks like it's going to be so great. This is uh, one of the first uh, DC Black Label releases. I'm very... I'm so excited for this. Anyway, let me just... It's a big fucking week. I'm really excited about most of these. Let me know what you guys think. Like, share, and subscribe. What book do you think is going to be the best? Why is it Batman Damned? I hope Captain America annual is good. Marvel's annuals have been really bad lately, though. I don't know if you guys have noticed. The Black Panther one was, I think, the last one that was good. And that's because Chris Priest wrote the last story on it. And the first two stories were okay. They were, like, very predictable. But, anyway. Uh, pr pr honestly, probably Batman's going to be the worst thing here. But, yeah. And Batman Damn is going to be the best. <laughs> let me know what you guys bought. And let me know what you guys are excited for. And I will catch you guys later she's hot though man i'm not gonna lie